right, Coach, thank you. EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us at Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. Just a few moments ago, this building was shaking as the Carolina Panthers emerged from the tunnel here in Charlotte. They are ready to go as the Panthers are set to match up. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. With the New Orleans Saints. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. He gets this one complete to Traquan Smith. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, Got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long to throw. It's Breeze. His throw incomplete. The target that time, Michael Thomas. And it's third down. Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. Right, we that one goes incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Right. The play fake to Ingram. Now it's Breeze. Looking again for Thomas, this time complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. And that one good for 16 yards and a first. Every coach we ever talk to says to his team before the game, quick start, guys. Let's get out of the gate fast. <laughs> How about that? They took his lesson to heart, didn't they? They did exactly that. A nice diving catch here on the game's opening drive. On first down, Breeze. And it's hauled in by Ben Watson. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. A first opportunity upcoming in the red zone for the Saints. First and 10 at the 19. A first carry now. This is Alvin Kamara. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Alvin Kamara really settling into the league in his second season. And, of course, he came out of Tennessee, but not a lot of people remember he started at Alabama. He did and got caught in that big mix of running backs at Bama. And they like those bigger, thicker runners, those guys that can break down defenses through the middle. Alvin Kamara ended up leaving Alabama, going to a junior college for a while. I believe it was and he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. In for the score. And the Saints have taken the early lead. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Will Lutz on for the point after. Lutz good on the extra point. And it's now a 7-0 game. Lutz now to kick this one away. Moore now to return. And he'll take this across the 25 
Couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Carolina takes the field again here. And, you know, I was thinking earlier in this game back to Super Bowl 50, that Carolina team that went 15-1, and won, how great that squad was. I don't know that this year's version is as good as that, but they're starting to play more like that team, aren't they? They certainly are. And then they've got an added element. I think they're a little more explosive at more positions than that team that was 15-1. and won. What I mean by that is Christian McCaffrey can run it inside. But you get him out in open space and catching the ball, that gives you a whole different element than what they had before. Curtis Samuel starting to come along. The rookie DJ Moore at wide receiver. Devin Funches and his ability to play over the rim and go over top of people and catch the football. And Cam continues to be Cam and will run the football, especially in short yardage situations. So I think this team is really coming together and don't ever underestimate their defense. Just beating the play clock is Newton. And they get to Newton and take him down for the sack. Sheldon Rankins with a great push up front. He picks up the sack and a loss of eight. What a nice read and play by the defensive tackle. Never bought the play action fake. Went right for the quarterback and put him on the ground. So now Cam leads the Panthers up following the sack. Carolina facing third and long. The shotgun snap for Newton. Catch here, left side, Thomas. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. And a loss of three to bring up four. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. Give them 11 yards that time on the return. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. The football going back over to the New Orleans Saints uh, and a team this year, Charles, that really took off after that week one loss. For me, it all came together week nine. You think back to that game when they beat the Rams, knocked off their undefeated streak to start the regular season. So now, are the Saints really Super Bowl winning contenders? I mean, do you put them in that category? I certainly do. And I think people were wondering how they would respond this season after what happened to end last season, the Minneapolis miracle, where they ended up giving up the touchdown pass in the last play of the game in the playoffs. And when it started losing at home to Tampa Bay, many wondered if their psyche had really been affected, but they've regrouped since then. The defense is really playing well. And then there's always Drew Brees to Mike Thomas. And that has worked very well for them. Well, since you mentioned Michael Thomas, and we talked about that win over the Rams, <laughs> never forget going to get the flip phone, Mr. Michael Thomas. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Eric Reed. And the return will stop right around the 25. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. On second down, here's Newton. Caught left side by Funches. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Newton finding Funches for the Panther first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Four down, four down. They go play action here on first down. Oh, look at Thomas wide open. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Give him 30 yards there. We often, with Cam Newton, talk a lot about his legs. Don't forget about that arm. He can throw it on a rope. He can loft it. He's got the touch that's been developed throughout his career. But the big part about just watching him throw it, it seems almost effortless. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. 
This is Newton off the play fake to McCaffrey. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Down right around the 25. Only a yard on the pickup, so from a good situation on second and two, it's now third and one. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football, but these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. On every snap, a defense is trying to establish who they are, but on third and short, that's really when you put it out there and tell people who you are, and that's exactly what they did. For the offense, they're looking at their offensive line and saying, guys, where are you? We need you on those plays. And Catton Zero's kick is right through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So that's a seven-play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. And things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to the goal line, things stiffened a little bit, forced the field goal. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. Finds his man, Watson, over the middle. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. So there on that play, offensively, they ran the crossing route. Defense was in zone coverage, so as a former DB, how tough is it to defend that? It's really difficult because your natural inclination is to chase the receiver and maybe leave your zone. So you have to have discipline in order to talk to your other coverage guys and let him know that that receiver's crossing from your zone to the next zone. He's coming your way. Make sure you have him. And then when the ball is actually thrown, secure the tackle. When they're moving on crossing routes, if you miss a tackle, it usually results in a big play. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. Staying on the ground on first with Kamara. And he's got room. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Would you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What is it, three plays, three first downs? Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up, they'll get to that end zone real fast. Into the red zone, it's Breeze. And Watson has it, right side. No gain there on the completion, second and 10. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and 10. Shotgun now for Breeze. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. The tight end, Josh Hill, was the target. And it's third down. All right, that one fell incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks, 
they'll miss on 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail seven out of 10 times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfection, but way better that it hits the ground instead of going to an opposite color jersey. Now Breeze on third down. That's caught, it's Thomas. And he's brought down. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Hey, now, Breeze again. And he is going to wind up losing yardage here as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's Saints football to begin quarter number two. And they'll come up looking to keep this drive moving. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. They'll give it to him up the middle. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Mark Ingram, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the Saints now add six to their lead. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. Lutz with the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Lutz now to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And onto the field, here come the Panthers. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. Give him two yards on that play, and it's a second down. Was that a receiver? <laughs> yeah, actually it was. It was a running back who was a receiver on the play. Ike's been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a toe tap. No doubt about it. It's like he'd run to ballet school. Got the toes down and stayed in bounds. Now it's news. Funches has it complete. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Third down, here's McCaffrey. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. And a game there of 11 yards. Give them a lot of credit. They ended up running the ball on a key third down situation. They were staring three and out in the face and found a way to flip the script and keep the ball moving on offense. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. And he's gonna take this across the 50 and into Saints territory. It's a seven yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you wanna call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. To throw on second down is Newton. Over the middle, it's Thomas. And he's got this down to the 35. 
They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Newton will bring him up first and 10, and he's 8 for 8 now, throwing the ball to start the game. Now the Auburn alum, Artis Payne, and a short gain down to about the 33. Tackle is made by Cameron Jordan. Well, he's looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. Another run, this time McCaffrey. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Yeah, once more, strong running, excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Right back to him on first down. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. Von Bell up to make the tackle. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. They'll try the air now with Newton. And that's incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of, you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Throwing on third down, Newton. That's going to be caught. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. DJ Moore, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Panthers have got it back to a one-score game. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers. That meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Gano out to kick this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. It'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. The Saints offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. They start the drive on the ground. Kamara takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. Second down, here's Breeze. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Smith. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness, there's a premium for all of that now. They'll try to run for the first with Ingram. And he'll 
They'll get this up only to about the 33. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave them with a fourth down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. Carolina getting set to take the field. Well, things are starting to move in the right direction. They get the touchdown last drive, then their defense gets them the football back. Yeah, now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something together here. And I'm eager to see how they decide to do it. They want to be methodical, or they want to take the big strike and go after it right now. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at the 20. Newton to throw. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Changing topics here for just a second to look ahead to our Thanksgiving slate. You, know, you got Chicago and Detroit early, but then, of course, Dallas late. And it's a rivalry game. They host Washington. Yeah, and how great is that that we're going to get that one on Thanksgiving because they've given us some memorable ones throughout the years. And it's always interesting to hear just how intense this rivalry is, even in today's NFL. I've talked to guys who have played for both Dallas and Washington, and they always say it's such a struggle when they hear they have to go to the other team. No matter what the circumstances, that's the one team that you don't want to go play for. And they always say it's very strange to put on that other uniform. <laughs> Whoever wins that game, the turkey will taste a lot better in the locker room after. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's more. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff, didn't Yeah, they? when we talked about him, they did. Yeah, yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Well, too much oomph, too much mustard there on that pass. They really turned it loose, didn't they? Really cut loose with that one. Sharp, strong. Didn't lead to a completion, though. Made it very difficult. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. To throw again, Newton. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was looking for the connection with Devin Funches. And it's third down. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. The Panthers on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and ten. Newton throwing again. Complete to right. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. Boy, the evolution of the game and how these guys on plays like that can get out of the pocket, keep plays alive, it just makes things so much harder for defenses. It really does, and we're talking about an era in the game where the quarterbacks are the most athletically gifted that we've seen in a bunch. I mean, when you talk about collectively, it's unbelievable. So their ability to move is practiced now. It's not necessarily, oh, he just took off and you guys figure it out. When he takes off, everyone knows where to go now. They know how to run routes, change things, make themselves presentable for the quarterback. It's a lot of time that they put in on it. It's not just your static one, two, three. This is where the ball goes anymore. The drive starts here with a carry by Ingram. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. Second and nine now from the 21. Breeze to throw on second down. Looking left side and completing it to Thomas. 
touchdown, New Orleans. Michael Thomas, 79 yards. And the Saints are able to strike quickly for six. I think if you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as a wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. Lutz now to kick this one away. Moore now on the return. And a good return up past the 30, but was it aided by an illegal block or a hold? Let's see. So that will push him back. And now we know why I have a little extra space to run, don't we? An illegal block in the back, that penalty will move them back. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. They'll run it now out of the gun. In on the tackle, Alex Okafor. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. they got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. On second down, McCaffrey. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. He'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. When you're putting together a formula for winning defense, it's exactly what we're seeing in this game. Controlling the line of scrimmage, attacking, and changing everything so that now they're playing in the offense's backfield. They're playing an excellent game. To throw on third down, Newton. And that is incomplete. That's well, looking like another three and out here, and at some point, got to be able to put together a drive to keep your defense from having to go right back out on the field. I feel like things are starting to unravel a little bit, and we're not even at halftime. Here's Michael Pilardi now as he's on to punt for Carolina. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. <laughs> well that'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt, and that will come the offense as they take over. And now the Saints get set to trot out there. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good, so they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense, and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. Breeze now on first down. Throw left side complete. It's Arnold. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. They should have gotten more out of that, though. He was wide open. I love how emphatic you are with that call because that's exactly what I was thinking. Wide open in the flat. Give him a ball that he can use to get upfield with, not just catch and go over the sideline. They cost themselves some yardage there. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Now Breeze throwing on second down. Over the middle to Smith. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. now closing in on a 200 yard first half through the air it's first and ten working from the gun it's breeze he couldn't quite hold it got hit ball pops out incomplete 
Charles a year ago at this time I asked you what your Thanksgiving plans were so I got a funny answer out of you last year. I'm going to ask you again, what are you doing for Thanksgiving this year? I'm trying to figure out exactly what time I kick everyone out of my house so I can just <laughs> hunker down and watch what's left of the football schedule. That's what I want to know. Oh, come on. Your mother-in-law is coming in. It's going to be a great time at the Davis household. Well, she can stay as long as she wants. She's family. But everyone else, get out. They, they have an expiration time. What about the dogs? 50-50. Depends <laughs> on how they act that day. Well, when things go awry, you can just get in the car and head out for the airport because you got a game that weekend. I certainly do. I will be headed to Charlotte, Seattle, Carolina that Sunday. Looking forward to that one. But even while I'm jesting a little bit about people being at the house, some of you I'm not jesting about. Hurry up and get out. Breeze to throw again. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you go make a play on the football. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Here's Newton, looking for the out route, and he's got more. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measurables, otherwise they wouldn't have brought him on to the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about it. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. Wide open receiver complete. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. On first down, it's Newton. And this one complete to Smith. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Again, Newton. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. And not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Draw play as Newton gives to McCaffrey. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. First down, Newton. And it's incomplete. 
Thomas the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. On second and 10, Newton. Looking again for Thomas, this time complete. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. And, partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. The Panthers on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This is third and eight. Out of the gun, Newton. And this is going to be incomplete. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. He connected on his first. This time it's 39 yards away. And Catton Zero's kick is right through. And that'll make this an eight-point game. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. The return man is Hill. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. 30 seconds remain in this first half as they come up here first and 10. They begin on the ground with Kamara. And it'll work his way across the 30 to the 32. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. First play of the drive, let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher, a really nice run. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. So we have reached halftime with the visiting Saints out on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, set now to go for the third quarter. The Saints have the lead and set to receive the kick. Then he'll take this across the 25, a couple of extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Out come the Panthers. They'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Starting the second half with a run by McCaffrey, and he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Okay, he didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge, and that's probably exactly what he's telling them in the huddle right now. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 17 yards on the pick up there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. It looks way too easy right now. Two carries, two straight first down runs. 
The eyes are carrying the legs to the proper hole, but they're being created by an offensive line that has the leverage game going for him right now. Lower than the defensive front, creating space, and he's finding it in a big way. Got to love what they're doing on offense right now. And he's going to take this across the 50 and into Saints territory. A.J. Klein on the tackle there. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Cam's going to run the option right. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. Well, anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. The Panthers on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This will be third and five. A shotgun snap for Newton. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Carolina. Torrey Smith, 44 yards. And the Panthers are a two-point conversion away from tying up this football game. Now Newton will bring the Panthers up to go for two. They're going to keep it on the ground. And he's not going to get there. So they come up empty on the two-point conversion, and they are unable to tie up this football game. Gano out to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. When we talk about Luke Keekley, you can't talk about his overall game without talking about his intelligence and how he controls the whole defense. He quarterbacks that defense and at times will actually make checks just like a quarterback would on offense to get them into the right defense. They definitely were on that play. How about that finish? Holding that to a minimal game. Smith catches left side. It's a big play there for the Saints. 43 yards. That was a nice pickup, some chunk yardage there. Some of those big yards downfield with a little bit of rack thrown in there, a little run after catch, and it came on a crossing route. I could just hear one of my friends who won four Super Bowls as a quarterback always said the same thing. What route does the defense hate? Crossing route. Hate it, hate it, hate it, because it's hard to change direction when they get going full speed in the other way. So that'll back him up five. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. After the penalty, it's Ingram. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. We can talk about bend but don't break all we want, but the defense now, we're going to find out just how flexible and pliable they really are. Can they bounce back after that type of a run, that type of momentum against them, and find a way to slow down this offense? 
Try to pound it in, Kamara. And he'll work his way closer to the goal line as he's got five down to the three. So that run gets him about halfway home. Yeah, it's now second and goal. The end zone beckons. It looms. They can do whatever they want. Full playbook. Run it again, or they can go play action and try and put it in that way. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. They'll look to run with Ingram. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. On goal-to-goal -goal runs, when you create lost yardage plays, the only way that happens is either called pressure or what I like to call straight-ahead pursuit. A great read, and they get to the backfield and make the play. And that was a big chunk of yardage loss. Breeze now to throw. And that is incomplete. And that's a crusher right there. Had his man open for a first down. Threw a fastball when that wasn't necessary. Incomplete pass. One of these quarterbacks going to learn. You don't get extra points for how hard you throw the football. On fourth down, off goes Drew Brees. And on comes the Saints kicker, Will Lutz, for the field goal attempt. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And Lutz puts this one through. And that will push the lead up to five. Well, looking at it from a defensive perspective, that keeps the deficit very, very manageable. You know, all things considered, not a bad job on the defensive side. I would say that you've pointed out something pretty good right there, and that is you actually have both sides happy with that exchange. You know, happy in quotes, of course. One team, hey, we've kept, kept it within range. The other side saying, hey, we put points on the board and did stretch out the lead. Let's see how this one turns out. Yeah, still bottom line, though, three points for the opening drive of the third quarter. Following the made field goal, Lutz to kick it away. This is taken at the three. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Now the Panthers offense, they get set to come back onto the field. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10, right at the 30. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 10 yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate, and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. They go play action here on first down. And that's incomplete. Well, week 12 in the NFL, also Thanksgiving week, and three games on Thanksgiving. We know about Chicago and Detroit, Washington, and Dallas. Don't forget about the third and final game on Turkey Day, just as the early Black Friday shoppers are lining up. Atlanta, New Orleans. And those Black Friday shoppers will be throwing serious elbows about the time this bad boy kicks off. Now think about this weekend, or think about this Thanksgiving. It has the feel of a college rivalry weekend, doesn't it? Every game, intense rivalry. Chicago, Detroit, Washington, Dallas, and now this one, Atlanta, New Orleans. These two don't like each other very much. A huge game in the NFC South. Can't wait to watch this one. Matt Ryan, Drew Brees match each other throw for throw. Here we go. The Panthers on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This is third and 10. From the gun, here's Newton. He gets it to Thomas. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies unable to get it done. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. The Saints coming out now to take the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. 
It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Bree's going to throw. He hits his target. Left side, Watson. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45 yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. On first and 10, here's Breeze. Over the middle, complete. It's Smith. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. 15 yards through the air and a first down. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. On first down, Breeze setting up the receiver screen here to Thomas. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. And never good on a pass completion there to go the wrong way. Lost yardage. No, for some reason it seems to work better when you throw it downfield or you can move the ball downfield running it that way, doesn't it? But in this case, if you're the defensive guys, you're energized executed well, and you caused a lost yardage play. That's going to feel good and look great in film. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Smith. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. A good pick up there, a 22. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. On second down, here's Breeze. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. All the yards, completions, just another play that's a feather in the cap of the great career of Drew Brees. And wasn't he supposed to be too small to be an effective quarterback in yeah. the NFL? Yeah, how'd that work out? Yeah, well, his footwork, I think, really sets him apart. Remember, he was a junior tennis champion, beat Andy Roddick, the future U.S. Open champion, back when they were in the juniors. I think that footwork really helps him be the great quarterback he is now. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. He'll get it up the middle, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. They'll wind up losing three yards here, and that's going to bring up an interesting third and goal. Now Breeze. Now Breeze lost the football. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. All I know, partners, that with every play call that came in, there was a little discussion about, hey, we can seal this bad boy. We can really put ourselves in a great spot to take total control. And yet they find a way to cough it up. Yeah, the two-score game opportunity eludes them. And now a chance for the other side to come back here. Yeah, that means defense has to go out there and make some plays themselves. So we call sudden change. Let's see if the defense is mentally ready to take care of it.
This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Operating from the gun. Newton over the middle. Open is Thomas. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. First play of the drive in their hip pocket. Of course, the focus here has to be the touchdown of the two-point conversion. Field goals aren't going to help you. Yeah, but how about that first play of the drive? Just to get them started, nice gain, get some positive momentum going. They're on their way, and they don't have to rush. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And nearly picked off there, and it would have been a great time for their first pick. Instead, it's second down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Second and 10, Newton again. And an alley to run. <laughs> fighting to stay on his feet past midfield. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Newton able to use those legs and get past the marker to pick up the first. All right, partner, I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but it's winning time here in the fourth quarter if he needs to make those plays when the legs go ahead. Right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on, catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Newton now. Six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. This is Newton off the play fake to McCaffrey. Caught left side by Funches. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had to read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe he didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch as the arm there, the leg's still there. This has been a tough game. Back to the air. Newton on second down. Looking for the end zone. Oh, he almost had it for the pick. A great chance there for the interception in the end zone. Instead, third down. Trying to erase that deficit all at once. One big shot. He took it. Unfortunately for him, incomplete. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions. Have him looking at third and ten. Throwing again is Newton. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. So they decline it as that will bring up fourth. And I know that yardage and field position are keys to any game played, but you've got to consider downs when you're talking about penalties. And they wisely did not take that one and made it fourth down. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the left hash, this from 39. And Catanzaro's kick is right through. And that'll get the lead down to five. So an interesting call there to take the three. I mean, I guess they're thinking that their hands were tied. But, you know, fourth quarter, that field goal might not help them that much in the end. Yeah, eventually they're going to need the touchdown. The thinking must have been they didn't feel confident about picking it up there. 
hoping maybe on defense they can get better field position, get a turnover, get a better play, and then they'll have a chance to attack the end zone. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. Fielded about a yard deep. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. Now the Saints, they trot their offense out here, and they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> toe bash. I don't know about toe that. Bashed it. <laughs> Super toe. <laughs> And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. A gain of six there on first. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Ready. Ready. Shotgun now for Breeze. And his throw here is incomplete. Going with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. The Saints on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and four. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Carr. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. This is Ingram on first and 10. And he'll get across midfield and into Carolina territory. It's a seven yard carry to set them up with a second and three. So the solid run on first, and I would imagine no real hurry to run that second down play. No, it's all in your quarterback now. He's gonna keep an eye on the play clock and bleed things down. And he's not gonna let the ball be snapped until it's inside three seconds left on the play clock. Unless, of course, you're playing a video game and you're trying to run it up on your friend. <laughs> nice touch. Cold-blooded, too. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. Well, you know me, partner. I never tell them to back off of being aggressive, but sometimes you see the consequences when you're overly aggressive and you don't secure tackles. Guys break through. Trying to sell out to pry that football loose, and just as you said, Cost some yardage. Yeah, you got to go get him. Stand him up first before you go for the ball. Don't just go for it initially. Throwing on first down is Breeze. And that is incomplete. Complete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. And an alley to run. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw so through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Ready, ready, ready. Marie's now on first down. They go screen. This is Ingram. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 12 more yards there and another first down. 
They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. Breeze to Ingram on the draw. And he gets it down close to the 10-yard line. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. And he's got him. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Benjamin Watson, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Saints add on to their lead. And he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. Lutz good on the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Lutz now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Carolina getting set to take the field. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. And right with it here, over the middle. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. Now a first down throw for Newton. And an alley to run. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. Oh, my Cam. There's times when I'm not analyzing up here. I'm just appreciating. Led NFL quarterbacks in rushing last year. He is truly the ultimate weapon at that position. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Newton on first down. To the right side, and he's got more complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Trying to defend the out route there, got the P.I. call. And you know what's difficult about that one is sometimes you want to make the undercut move and go for the football, and other times just want to hang on the upfield shoulder and make the tackle. I think he got caught in between and created a foul. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. On first and 10, Newton. He'll drop it off to McCaffrey. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. But correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. On first down, Newton. That's caught. It's Thomas. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Well, from an offense's perspective, that sure was pretty because the corner route, 
It's extremely difficult to defend from my perspective. What we just saw there, is that sort of the evolution of the tight end position? Yeah, I think it is because more and more, tight ends are being treated like wide receivers. These are some agile players who can make a play in any spot on the field. His pass caught at the four. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Three yards is the gain that time, second and goal. And that's one of his advantages of a passer, is it not? With his height, setting back there in the pocket, firing it over the middle, he can really see everything clearly. It is, and I know that other quarterbacks get it done different ways, all right? You don't have to be his height to make a great play, but what he does is he takes away having to make those slide steps in the pocket to find angles to throw the ball through. He just throws right over the top of it because he can see everything, and sometimes that saves time and gets the ball to a receiver quicker. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Incomplete. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. The field goal doesn't help. They're going to go for the six here on fourth and goal. Here we go with McCaffrey, and he will not even make it back to the line of scrimmage. McCaffrey turned away on fourth and goal. And the Saints able to come up with a goal line stand. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about Slim and none? Well, Slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none? Yes, yeah, exactly right. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. They'll run with Ingram here to begin the drive. And he'll take this up to about the seven or eight yard line. And now we get a timeout called on the defensive side of the ball by the Panthers. As they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. And he's going to be taken down here at about the 10. The Panthers are going to take another timeout as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. A tenth carry for Kamara, and he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. And a timeout here. Timeout taken, whistles blown. Timeout taken by the receiving team. As they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he's on to punt for New Orleans. And take it right on the 30. 
12 yards on the return that time. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. The Panthers offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. And last time, they had it fourth and goal, rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind them, try to put together another drive. A simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got us last time. But you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down to position. We were able to be in position to score. Let's go ahead and attack again. Continue to have that kind of confidence. Not worry about the one play that didn't. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. Alex Okafor in there to drop him as the clock continues to roll. Here's Newton now on second down. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. A gain of four on the play, and that's going to lead to a third and 11. And we've reached the one-minute mark in this game. Throwing on third down, Newton. And an alley to run. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. Call it a gain of three, and that'll bring up fourth down. Desperation time. Newton, fourth down. And he gets it to punch his complete. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Newton on first down. Smith catches left side. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Working the sideline there, good route, good catch. First down, and he gets out of bounds. Yeah, you have to like the play calling, because you have to run some guys down the middle of the field to draw some of the defenders away. They can't just let them guard the sideline exclusively. That's how it's going to work. Sidelines and incompletions to use the clock. On first down, it's Newton. And is caught right at the 10-yard line. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Hey, 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 hey. Set. Ready. Now whistles. Flag down, and I believe one of the Panthers got moving early. Things made a little more difficult after the false start as they try again on second and goal. Newton throwing again. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. All right, Captain. It's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodge two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we've just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've kind of run out of your running plays. Fire another one into the end zone. Four down, four down. Ready, ready, ready. Now Newton on third and goal. A loss of eight on the play, and it brings up fourth. The field goal doesn't help. They're going to go for the six here on fourth and goal. Charles, we saw a lot of points go up in this one. Certainly defensively, stuff that they can look at on film, don't you think? No doubt about it. And they've got to go back and check where the errors are, how they're going to fix them, and continue to get better at what they do. But they also need a little adjustment with their confidence. To give up that many points, even if you win a game, that can hurt you.
So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. From Charlotte, good night, everybody.